is that this isn't legal advice. I just so happen to be on camera, being recorded, talking out loud. <laughs> the reality is, will those arrested face prison time or need a pardon from President Trump? I'm not going to let supporters of peaceful protests be the scapegoat to add insult to injury. Nancy, Pelosi, Harris, and Biden are looking for an excuse in this situation. They overplayed their hand, and given the fact Harris used to be a corrupt prosecutor, I expect a lot of Brady material to be disclosed in this matter. I guarantee they used the excuse of national security to drop most of the charges, and the rest will be ended without a trial based off of continuous failed prosecutions. Um, if it was okay to riot when it wasn't about the American people and then deal with politicians being attacked or um, the monuments or federal property being attacked or being a target, all you see is how much they care about their lives, not the American people. The only convictions I see happening, if I was in their shoes, would be by a plea deal or a plea to guilty. You basically got to confess or tell on yourself. Even then, you can go to trial and have a jury nullification on steroids. It is highly doubtful, seriously. 74 million die-hard Trump supporters and the government has no way to keep them off the jury. And also, the new evidence of merging with congressional members playing a role in what happened, plus Democrats' own words regarding peaceful protests and documents that have come out over the wiki dump. You know, Big Tech and Democrats wanted the censure of, of the President of the United States of America during this time because they didn't have their ducks in a row. There's more than enough evidence to make me have reasonable ba uh, reasonable doubt. The mere fact that someone was in the building isn't enough if you're looking at the long term in this. Realistically, this is a waste of taxpayer dollars. Yes, whoever uh, participated in the killing of a police officer must face prosecution. But the reality is, for the American people, learn this. It's like you can destroy anything you want to, long as you don't go after the politicians. Once you do that, that's when they have a problem. But long as you destroying your own community, burning down your buildings, robbing, stealing, killing anybody other than them, the politicians, then they don't care. That's what it boils down to. And they know most of the documentation that they will have to give out deals with national security. This is nothing more than a circus by Democrats to try to prove some kind of point. They are doing it by the charge, not by trial by jury. This is basically trial by mob of the liberal media. And realistically, the only way I can see somebody really being convicted as far as if it was just going to the Capitol Okay, you kicked in a couple of doors. Okay, you broke some windows. Yes, it was bad that it happened at the Capitol, but given what happened to America and what ordinary private citizens had to go through during the summer of 2020, um, I think if you was able to drop the charges on them, which a lot of those charges, just because somebody was arrested, doesn't mean they was convicted of being involved in any riot. Most DAs or... Uh, prosecutors around the country was just dropping the charges, even though they have video evidence. They have more than enough eyewitnesses. But the fact of the matter is they also have to look at how many different trials are we going to have? How much of federal resources and taxpayer dollars are we going to keep having trials where nobody's going to convict anybody involved in that? The only prosecution I could see being successful, and this is just me talking out loud, is who was involved in killing the cop and hurting police officers. Outside of that, if it's not dealing with that, 
because the police officers wasn't the problem. The problem was they was put in the middle of politicians' bullshit. And that's what happened. And realistically, once it comes down to evidence need to be turned over and all that other stuff, they're going to say it's not worth it. And that's what's going to happen because realistically, you're dealing with a lot of secrets that go on in the D.C. Capitol. Look, <coughs> look at it like this. Nancy Pelosi and the rest of them politicians have way more to lose if they can't keep this case quiet and those arresting charges quiet than they have to gain. The fact of the matter is you pleading guilty or whatever it may be, I'm like, that would be probably the most foolish thing ever heard of. I'm like, who is going to convict you? I'm like, if this many people support the president of the United States and support the actions that was done as far as trying to stop the steal, you are not going to be able to assemble a jury that is going to convict without a hung jury all over the place over this whole issue. So basically, this is what the liberal media is just trying to do. They're trying to basically walk it back. If you start looking at the commentators on CNN and MSNBC, you can tell that they are very nervous and scared because at first it seemed like a great thing, the impeachment, all this other stuff, all these arrests. And what they wasn't thinking about, and see, I think five steps ahead of time. And I'm thinking... You have no chance in hell to convict anybody in that D.C. Capitol mess, let alone not be exposed for your own hypocrisy. That's the truth. So what America is going to have to do and what these D.C. politicians are going to have to start looking at is the fact that America is tired of you having us against each other. Now we are seeing that the real problem, the ones who are really fanning the flames and putting gas on the fire, is those politicians in D.C. and those politicians in Richmond. doesn't matter which party because everybody's fed up. The fact of the matter is, in order for them to even think about getting a conviction or whatever, they literally will have to have the dumbest person plead guilty, and that's the ones who run around, and what is shocking, they probably cooperating over a misdemeanor and doing all this extra stuff, putting their life on the line and all this other stuff. Honestly, what's going to happen here is patriots and those out there are going to find out who their friends are, and we're going to all see who the enemies are. And those are the ones who infiltrated not only BLM's peaceful protest, but they infiltrated this one, which is Antifa, and what's going to end up happening, all sides is going to start seeing every time we try to come together.